One of the websites I've chosen is the National Agriculture in the Classroom website. Um, I chose this website because it has a lot of really great resources for teachers and students. Um, and I think it does a great job of broadening knowledge of agricultural related topics. Um, I think this can often be something that is overlooked um, when it comes to things to teach your students. I think in rural areas, students may have more, um, maybe more likely to know some of this information, but especially in, um, in bigger cities or students who don't have connections to agriculture or farming or anything like that, um, I think this could be a great resource to, um, to teach them more about that. So when you go to the website, they've got a section to go to for the teacher and the student. Um, when you go to student center, they've got games for the students. They've got places where you can go to kind of um, look up neat facts about each state and the agriculture unique to those states. Um, there are virtual tours. There are um, places where you can go to talk about different jobs within agriculture. Um, and then for teachers, if you go to Teacher Center, they've got a lot of great resources for your classroom use as well. So if you scroll down, they've got state territory programs. So you can go in there and click specifically to where you're located. Um, they also have information about, apparently they have a national conference each year, which is interesting for teachers. So they've got information about that. Um, something that I think is really interesting is they've got themes for learning for grades K through five. So if you go in, they've got uh, multiple different topics that they cover with different lesson plans and resources. Um, so for example, like if you go into School Garden Center, within that they've got little topics on all the things that you may need to know to help you with a school garden, which again, I think is a really neat resource to have. Um, and then, Okay, and then they also, if you keep going, they've got like um, things that you can buy, like an ad classroom store that if you want to find things to purchase for your classroom. And honestly, it just goes on and on about all of the tools and resources that they give for you to use in your classroom. Um, I feel that this aligns with the IST standards of 2.5 point C on being an innovative um, learning environment for students where they can create, they can like go into um, one of the games that I saw in particular, I thought would be kind of neat. It's kind of like a farm life game for kids where they create their own farm. They design it and talk about the different crops that they could grow and the business and the profit and all that kind of stuff, which I think is a really cool thing for them to know about. Um, and then the other standard that I think it references well to is 2.6 point B which is class management of tech using hands-on um, virtual environments. And again, I think some of this would tie in with, with that standard as well as like the virtual field trip aspect, I think would be um, a good tie in with that. Um, I think the audience for this could easily be teachers or students um, with it having both of those content areas covered within this uh, website. So anyway, that is what I've got for one of my choices.